In this video, I'm going to show you a trick that will help you save precious time that you may have spent in the up enter cycle. What is the up enter cycle, you ask? It's something you've probably wasted time doing without realizing you were doing it. If we're just now meeting, I'm Wesley. I make videos about Linux related stuff, so consider subscribing. So, what is the up enter cycle? As far as I know, I coined the term up enter cycle. It starts when a developer is just running a couple commands on the command line. For example, df-h. You want to check the disk space usage. Maybe you're doing a big file copy and you want to know how much disk space is left. So you run this command. Okay, then you say, okay, I want to use grep and uh, just get my root partition. Cool. So say, okay, that's good. Let me pipe that into awk and only get the percent. Great. So you keep running this command because you want to, uh, while you're doing your big file copy, you want to find out if your disk is getting too close to being filled up. So you get smart and you write a script. And you run that over and over again. And you get in this cycle where you press up, enter, up, enter, up, enter, enter, enter up, up, up. That's the up enter cycle. You may even be clever and run the bang bang command, but that command actually takes twice as many keyboard presses as the up enter cycle does. One, two, three, four. The bang bang command executes the previous command that you just executed. So it really is not worth it. It's actually more efficient to get into the up enter cycle, but there is a better way. And that better way is using the watch command. So the way the watch command works is you run watch, you can pass a integer to watch with a dash n parameter, and that's the number of seconds that you want to wait between executing the command uh, repetitively. And then you pass the command. And what it'll do is it'll keep executing that command over and over again, uh, and also print that to the output. So this is inside the watch command. It's executing this disk space script every one second and printing the output right below that. That's pretty cool. So say I'm working on a simple terminal-based C++ program. So I've got this Hello World application here. And I want to run, I want to compile it. All right, so now I have my executable. I can run that. Cool. So now I want to execute that command over and over again using the watch. So I'll just run watch dash n1 and pass in g++ hello cpp and then execute my new executable. So now as I make changes to my cpp file, they're automatically printed. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. This is hopefully super short, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, consider subscribing.